I'm Melinda and welcome back to my channel A Therapized Life. Today's video I want to kind of discuss something a little bit different that I haven't really discussed on this channel and that's how clothes can affect how you feel. Have you ever put on an amazing outfit and just that fit and flattered you just great and you just felt amazing? Or maybe you found the perfect dress or perfect blazer for that interview and you just felt so confident when you went to that event. Well, believe it or not, but clothes have the ability to affect how your mood is. It can make your mood feel better or it can even make your mood feel worse. Think about it. On those days when we typically don't feel good and don't feel that great, we don't really care what we put on. We tend to stay in pajamas or comfy clothes or if we even bother to get dressed at all. So a lot of times um, what you wear can have an impact on how you feel. One important point I'd like to make is that it's important every day that we get up and put on clothes, especially on those days when we're feeling sad or down. And that is because if we don't get up and we don't get dressed, we naturally just want to lay around, keep on our comfies and do things like that. But by getting up, putting on clothes every day, especially stuff that makes us feel good about ourselves, then actually what it does is number one, dressing for how you want to feel versus how you do feel can kind of help improve your mood. Because when you look in the mirror, you start to feel better about yourself because you actually took the time to get dressed and feel good. It also can help you be more productive. It also can help you be more motivated to get up every day and kind of get back into a habit and a pattern of doing things for yourself versus laying around every day. All right, now let's hop into those tips. The first tip that I would say is to make sure that we wear clothes that fit. And this one I would say is probably the most important point. And that is because if you have on clothes that do not fit you, then you tend to a lot of times be more self-conscious about what you're wearing and you don't feel comfortable and it can affect your confidence and just overall how you feel. An example of this can be whether you're wearing something that's too tight, whether you're wearing something that's too loose or even something too short. I remember years ago I had this dress that I really really loved but it was kind of really short and I didn't really want to admit it and I'm constantly pulling at it, pulling it down and kind of felt self-conscious as I was walking around I was always feeling like oh maybe my stuff's hanging out and my mom's friend at the time made a comment to me and it's saying so true and she was like if you feel like you have to constantly pull at that skirt then maybe you shouldn't have worn it and her point rang so true it's because I didn't feel comfortable in what I was wearing the fit was something that wasn't a good fit for me so you should always make sure you wear clothes that fit you because when something does fit you correctly and you feel like it flatters your body and you feel like it feels, fits you well, then you tend to have your head a little higher, you feel more comfortable in what you're wearing. Another important thing about fit is that you need to dress and wear things that fit you in the body that you're in right now. A lot of us, especially women, our weight fluctuates. Sometimes, you know, we're small, we're large or whatever the case is, but that doesn't matter. You should always dress for the fit that you have now. And that is because if you dress for the body you have now, then you also will feel a lot better in your clothes, you'll carry yourself better, and you'll just enjoy yourself a lot better getting ready every morning. A second tip is to wear clothes that are comfortable. There's nothing worse than loving something it looks so beautiful, but when you put it on, it's uncomfortable. Whether it because it just is too tight, it's itchy, it, whatever the case is you put on, it just doesn't feel good, then it's going to show when you're wearing it. Say you have on a sweater and it's absolutely gorgeous, but oh my gosh, it's itching your skin. You're not, it's going to show as you're wearing it throughout the day. You're not going to carry yourself good. You're going to constantly be fidgeting and picking at it and pulling at it. And you're just going to not carry yourself the same as if you wore something that was comfortable for you. This has been the case for me, unfortunately, many times when it comes to shoes. I love shoes. Shoes are my passion. But I've been known in the past to wear shoes that are either too big or too small because I was in love with a shoe. Well, I had to let that go because there's nothing worse than trying to walk around with a shoe that is way too tight for your foot. That's not comfortable and it showed because no matter how cute my outfit was, if I'm walking around and people can tell my feet hurt, it doesn't look good. In addition to the fact that I can tell people can tell my feet hurt and then that made me more self-conscious and made me not even want to wear and walk around and wear those shoes anymore. So it's very good to find clothes that, that are comfortable for us that we enjoy wearing. Another point touching off of comfort has to do with the climate that we live in. So you also want to make sure you wear clothes that are not too cold or too hot for the environment you're in. I live in Texas and the weather can fluctuate from day to day. So some days it's hot, some days it's cold. We're in October right now and yesterday was 90 something degrees. So though it's technically fall and I would love to be wearing sweaters, the weather is not appropriate for it. So if I were to put on the beautiful sweaters that I want to wear, I'd be sweating, I'd be uncomfortable, I wouldn't enjoy it, I'd feel sticky, and it would show and it would affect my mood because I'd be miserable because my clothes are too hot. 
So it's very important also that we dress for the climate that we're in. Even if though we wish to wear a different temperature, we still need to dress for the temperatures we're in right now. My third point is going to be to make sure that we have good hygiene about ourselves. And this isn't necessarily for maybe the clothes we put on our bodies as much to just how our clothes look when we take care and have that good hygiene for ourselves. For example, making sure we're brushing our teeth every day, making sure we're washing our face. Um, if you have a beautiful outfit on, but you smile and your teeth are yellow, or you have a lot of cavities and stains, things like that, that affects how we feel about ourselves. We're not gonna wanna smile. We're not gonna wanna look at people because we're self-conscious about things like that. So basic hygiene is, is very, very important. And a fourth tip on this is also to make sure that we don't forget to neglect things like our hair, our nails, and our accessories. You'd be amazed how you can transform an outfit simply by the way you do your hair or by some accessories you put on. There have been tons of times where I put on, say, a dress, and I'm like, I don't know why, I don't know why, but something is off. But then by simply may, maybe instead of having my hair down, pulling up into a ponytail, or maybe changing from a stud earring to some hoop earrings, it completely transforms the look. And I look in the mirror and I feel better. I'm like, oh, yes, I like how this looks. This looks more like me. So it's again important to know, you know, not to neglect those little details because those things can help us feel better about ourselves. And when we look in the mirror, we feel more confident because then we feel like our output is more finished and more touched and polished. So things like that can also help us feel better about how we look and how we feel in our clothes. Now let's move on to things that I recommend avoiding. The first thing that I recommend avoiding are clothes that are uncomfortable. Kind of going back to what we talked about earlier with things that are fitting. Fit. If your clothes are uncomfortable, and your clothes just don't feel good on you, then it's gonna show. You're not gonna wanna wear things, you're not gonna wanna, you're gonna carry yourself more low, you're not gonna just have that confidence you naturally would have if things fit you correctly. So I would always recommend, no matter how cute something looks, if you don't feel comfortable and you don't feel confident in it, then you don't wear it. The second thing that I recommend avoiding are colors that you feel like do not suit or flatter you, your, your skin tone and you in general. Now, I'm not saying that you can or can't wear any colors. This is a very subjective point. And this is something to say that like all of us, we have colors that we love. But just because we love a color doesn't mean that when we look in the mirror wearing certain colors, we feel like they're good colors for us. Some people, for example, can wear stark white and look great. Other people wear stark white and it washes them out and they don't feel great about it. I love bright colors. I love neon. They look amazing, but I don't like the way they look on me. So though I love to look at somebody else wearing maybe like a neon green shirt or something like that, I'm like, man, that's amazing on her. If I were to put it on myself, I feel like I look like a stop sign. I feel like I'm glowing and I look super, super dark and I feel super self-conscious and I'm not going to be comfortable wearing those clothes. It's going to affect me. My personality is going to shrink and I'm not going to be myself. I feel comfortable wearing more earth tones, neutrals, things of that nature. I feel like they flatter my they flatter my skin tone. I feel like that they look really good on me and I feel super comfortable to wear those. Those are colors that I feel like I can match really easily in my closet and when I wear those tones, I feel my best self. And so those are the colors that I'm gonna to tend to lean towards. And I recommend that as well for you. If you have colors, though you might love them, but you feel like they're not good for you, then avoid them at all costs and wear the colors that you feel like are better for you. The third thing that I recommend avoiding are clothes that are inappropriate for the occasion. Now. I know we all like to wear what we like to wear, but let's be honest, there are, there are certain situations where there's clothes that are appropriate and inappropriate for those situations. So this is appropriate, of course, things for occasions like weddings or business attire. Now there's always a whole myriad of those situations. And if you're unsure of what to wear in those situations, I always recommend asking somebody before you go, say you start a new job and they say business casual. Well, as we all know, there's a whole myriad of things of what that can look like. And you don't, but you don't want to go and walk in on your first day of the job and you're wearing something and your, your business casual didn't match their business casual and then you feel uncomfortable all day because you feel like you're not just appropriately for this job. And then that also makes you feel confident. Are they going to fire me? Cause I'm dressed inappropriately. So in those situations, again, just asking if it's a new job, maybe for example, look at what the person who hired you is wearing or look at what the other employees in the company are wearing. So you feel more comfortable in what you're wearing. A tip my mother always gave me is it's always better to overdress for the occasion than to underdress. So when in doubt, I always tend to err on the side of dressing up more than dressing down just because, hey, if I happen to dress a little bit more dressed than everybody else, I'm fine with that, but I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed. And so again, just making sure that we're dressed appropriately for the season.
or for whatever occasion we're going to. And my fourth and final tip thing to avoid, and that is not to wear stained clothes or damaged clothes or torn clothes, things of that nature. We all have clothes that we love and we all have things, whether it's favorite shirts or outfits or whatever the case is. But when we have something on, whether we, when we have buttons missing or it's stained, it can, we don't feel confident. It kind of makes us shrink and we feel like everybody's staring at that stain or staring at that rip or whatever the case happens to be. Now, if that's the way that clothing item is made and it's meant to have rips and you like rips, hey, by all means, go for it. But I'm talking about those items that you know have long since passed their due date and it's time to let them go, but we just love them. If you don't want to let go of them, that's fine. Wear them at home. But when we go out, a lot of times wearing these pieces make us feel more, um, are more uncomfortable. We kind of feel like we have to constantly make sure we keep something, say for example, if a button missing, then we're trying to keep it tucked in so people can't tell the button's missing. Or we're trying to say there's, there's like a rip in the armhole. We're trying to make sure we're not raising our arms too much because we don't want people to notice we have that rip. So it affects again us being able to be our full selves, be able to relax and let our personality show. So just avoid those items at all, or maybe just keep them for something you wear at home. Well, that wraps up this video, guys. What do you think about my tips and things to avoid? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let's start the conversation down below. If you're not already subscribed to my video, then I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe down below. And if you enjoyed today's content, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And also make sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I always look forward to talking with you guys, and I'll see you again next Sunday for another video. Have a great week. Bye. Thank you.